Can I call you the really well-known Treasury bull now? Do I have to rephrase that statement? I get called all sorts of things, so <laughs> I'll, I'll take anything I can get. Um, we haven't changed our forecast. It's still 2.3 for 10-year Treasuries at the end of this year. We haven't changed it for uh, some time. I think it was September 2017 when we first set it. Um, so look, the, the, the monthly views uh, ebb and flow. Uh, I still think there's a great deal of relative value. Now, looking at the front of the curve, um, if you see two-year notes anywhere around two and a half, you're more than covered for the Fed continuing to hike along the path that they say they're going to hike. Uh, so I think that the fair value is nearer to, to 230 for these uh, shorter bonds. And I think that when the Fed has finished hiking, the curve will be flat at whatever that level is. Now, the consensus view is the same as the Fed's view, and that's a number nearer to 3%, isn't it? So everyone thinks they're going to go to 3 or, or 3 and a bit. Uh, I think something happens between now and then. And uh, our official forecast is two more rate hikes in 2018. There's a possibility of one more in 2019, but that's it. Uh, so so uh, something will happen. The Fed will pause. Uh, that something might be happening. You, you, you're telling me that there's been a few Fed official comments about uh, what's going on in emerging markets. There's been quite a few comments about the shape of the yield curve. I, I, I think that financial conditions globally are tightening very fast, and it may not be evident in the more domestic data that the Fed looks at.